What's up guys? Messy hair, exploited boy Mendo here. First of all, I want to say thank you guys so much for the recent support. Thank you guys for the support on Twitch. Thank you for the support on YouTube. I never thought I would have this many subscribers on YouTube ever. And we're actually getting close, really close to 100k. And I just want to say thank you so much. And I read your comments. I see you guys, you know, saying shit like next time maybe you want to exploit a hairdresser or a, a barber or something to get me a haircut or I look like I'm tired, which I am because typically what I've been doing, which is also why I haven't been getting a haircut, is uh, sleeping at max five hours a day, streaming and then doing YouTube along with my editors. Today was actually the first day where I didn't sleep five hours. I slept 16 hours. I just passed out, kind of recording this video just before my, I start my stream. Okay, so to date, this is probably one of the most game breaking glitches or I'm not even sure if I should call it a glitch. Uh, you guys thought digital threat in Bangalore was good. This is quite, quite something else. This is broken. I have reached out to developers. I've given them the exploit. I know it's a very easy fix for the developers of this game, but since I haven't gotten any responses yet from any of my messages regarding cheaters, aimbotters, exploits, or glitches I find, don't know if they've read it or not. So I think the best way to get this fixed as fast as possible is through making another video. Uh, I personally have not used this in game I will only use it in game right now, but not when killing or shooting anyone. I will just do it to display to you the difference. And I'll do it to show you exactly what it looks like so you can see it. This has been used by a lot of high level players. Actually, I don't know a lot, but I know some high level players have been using this in scrims. I know some people have been using it in pubs. It's uh, not very hard to do. It takes no skill. It adds zero depth to the game. It's just literally a completely unintended thing that needs to be fixed. And it has downsides as well, but the upsides are just way too strong. The exploit functions in a way where it's a command that you can put into your auto execute that is supposed to be cheat protected. So you don't counter strike where no clip and you know draw their models too and those cool like cheaty commands, uh, they were cheat protected. So you had to be on a server with admin controls or archon password and type SV underscore cheats one and enable cheats server wide that allowed you to use no clip that allowed you to use our uh, draw their models and a lot of commands in the console that weren't supposed to be in the game but you could play around with them this command exists and i'm 99 sure it's supposed to be cheat protected or maybe not even available to us the consumers at all it's a command that completely stops the drawing of like you know bullet trails which is the downside where you can't really see where people are shooting you from but you can completely remove smokes from the game. You can completely remove those effects in any way or shape they're displayed in the game to just not be drawn or rendered anymore. Obviously, this is entirely game breaking and I want it to be fixed. The way it's done is like this. Just like if you watched my previous videos when I talk about my FPS settings and my launch options and my execute, this is how you do it. Go into your play Apex folders, Apex, CFG, you copy your config default CFG file and rename it auto execute and change everything inside of your auto execute to whatever you want for FPS. But this right here, particles, coal, all zero. That's what turns it off. I wrote a simple bind toggle command for it. So you can turn it on and off by clicking one key and that's clicking X. So in game, you can decide when to turn it off and when to turn it on to use it to maximum usefulness. Obviously, I am not saying to do this. I am saying, please developers, reach out to me. I have my email and my Twitter. My DMs are open. Please give me a contact so I can work directly with you if I find any more glitches like these. And just please fix this as fast as possible. So what people have been doing, which is also how I will show it to you, is that they have bind toggle command for this specific command that is not supposed to be usable by the players and the consumers to make sure that they can completely remove or not render smokes in any way. That is really good if you're playing as Bangalore or when you're playing against Bangalore. This means that you can also use it on stream uh, by just whenever you're streaming, you just don't use the command. And then whenever you stop streaming, playing off stream or whatever, you can use it with just a click of a button. I guess, you mean, I mean, you can't really use it on stream, but it means you don't really have to go change your folders every time. But regardless, it's extremely easy. It's extremely, extremely easy to use. The way it works is if you enable this, if you click X with this specific command before a Bangalore smoke has been shot, the smoke will not appear. You shoot a smoke, the first one will be normal. You click it after, it will not appear. You can legitimately just run with Bangalore, shoot a smoke in an enemy, and just see through it. It won't be there for you. Uh, everyone else will be able to see it, but not for you. So you can just literally remove smokes from the game. And I'm sure you've seen a bunch of like complaints and like uh, talks about how that is broken in Counter-Strike and you can see through the radar and stuff. Well, this isn't even nearly as like, this is way bigger than Counter-Strike because you just remove the smoke. And it's such an easy command to just put in your auto execute. And the way you do an auto execute is you create an auto exec.cfg, you put this in here, you go into Apex, you go into settings, hide my CD key. I don't, I don't think it matters since it's a free to play game. Go advanced launch options and put plus exec auto exec. 
and then it'll work. And then you go in game, you click X, and I will show you what that looks like. So to clarify, this command uh, actually was not found by me, and the person who found it does not want to be shouted out. He just told me to give a give a shout out to Team Thanks. So shout out to Team Thanks. This command also has more uses than just the smoke, but some of them aren't even good. Like you cannot see the thermite grenades on the ground. You cannot see some stuff like that. But overall, let me show you the glitch and let me show you how broken it is. So here is a normal smoke. As you can see, it's a smoke. You still get the haze effect when you run inside of it. But here, I click X now and I shoot this smoke. You can see there's no line. The smoke is projecting itself and the smoke itself is gone. However, when you step inside, you still get the haze. It's just removing the smoke particle effects, basically. If you're, you have your ultimate and it explodes, like as it can be seen here shortly by my friend who helped me uh, test this, this command, the explosion itself won't be visible and this works for a bunch of the grenades and a bunch of other abilities as well. But the biggest exploit is the fact that you can shoot a smoke, other people will see it, and you will not. I can easily shoot anyone in this smoke right now and it would not be a problem for me to hit them in any way, uh, but they will not be able to see me just as easy. So this means that digital threat doesn't even have to be used anymore with this glitch. And this is undetectable since technically this is a setting that is allowed to use because that it does not have cheap protection and it, isn't, it is not disabled by the players. So there's no way to check if anyone is doing this except for looking at their gameplay directly. So if someone's not streaming or recording, they cannot prove that they're like, you cannot prove that they're not or they are that they are doing it or that they're not doing it. The only way to be 100% sure is if hopefully that this video catches the eye of a developer and the developers fix this and it should be pretty easy for them to fix it and it should be very easy hotfix. But so far, this is absolutely game breaking and I really, really hope that they fix this because this is really, really stupid. Bangalore smoke is not the only thing it affects. When grenades explode, they create the smoke clouds surrounding them. The thermite grenades, the entire fire, it will not be visible. Other explosions, other abilities, and it can definitely give you quite an edge when playing with or against a caustic. It removes part of the effect itself from the actual game. It makes it a lot easier to see as well. The only downside is that the tracers from the bullets, it's really hard to see where you're getting shot from. It removes the effect when you're holding a grenade and you're trying to throw the actual grenade the red line that tells you where the grenade is going to land will be gone completely. But that's why when you use a bind toggle, you can kind of easily and simply just toggle it off and on whenever you want. The The most easy use for sure though is just pushing on people with Bangalore smokes, smoking on top of them and then just not seeing it. And I've seen some people that I've thought have been using this and some people I thought had cheats to disable smokes, but it seems like you don't even need a cheat. You can actually just completely use a command available to the anyone who buys the game since it isn't cheat protected. I know this video is kind of weird. I just wanted to push out a video detailing these problems and because I really want the developers to fix this in the future. Hopefully I have contacts with the developers. So I find something like this instead of creating a video detailing how to use it and what this is and how big of a problem this is. I could have just created a video of I helped the developers patch a game breaking glitch and then record some of the content that I would show the developers and then make a video of that and detail this was accidentally left unprotected from cheat commands, stuff like that. I could just show you after the fact of them being patched if I have an access point to speak into developers. That is the end goal. Because I think people will still be interested in seeing some of the exploits and some of the glitches and several different ways of breaking the game. While I could still be making videos about techniques and mechanics that, you know, are considered exploits, but they're more like, you know, mechanics like b-hopping has been in every single Source game and how it's always been a core fundamental, like, mechanic of the game that people love and it would be nice to just have an access point to developers a contact person so i can get these broken things patched like you know infinite flying or no smoke and then just create a video after the fact of the patch going live saying like hey i found this or this happened or this is something that someone discovered and it could be used in a lot of different fun and really like boring ways etc and make the videos after the fact of the patch so i don't have to risk other people using them but for now, I know this is being used. I know for a fact this is being used by some competitive players. And I'm just trying to make sure that the competitive community can remain competitive. Right now with my current position, I feel like it's up to me to try to push this out to get it patched as fast as possible. So he reached out to me because every single glitch that has been game breaking that I've discovered so far and made a video of has actually been patched as a matter of days. So the developers are clearly watching 
and they clearly understand the issues that some of these glitches and exploits cause and i'm really happy that they're actually working really quickly on removing a lot of them and fixing and patching a lot of them i just wish that i didn't have to give everyone access to potentially game breaking exploits or mechanics before it gets patched please give me an email boys uh first of all the giveaway is still going on so make sure you go to my twitter and follow the steps for the giveaway for a final mouse and the turtle beach headset and second make sure you join my discord server I announce whenever I go live, we announce when our new video is live, and more importantly, we now have Apex channels and Apex looking for group channels. So if you're looking for friends to play with on console or PC, or if you're looking for friends to play very aggressive or very defensive, strategic, high kill games, whatever you want, join the Discord, you can probably find your friends there.